So there's a lot of buzz around Windows 11 25 Edge 2 update. Some calling it the biggest update in recent times. So let's explore and learn how to install it by passing the Microsoft account. Starting off, we get the new start menu with categories and other options. You can also see the Microsoft phone link dashboard on the side. File manager has new recent and favorite tabs. Also new dark mode for copy, delete, etc. dialog box. There's this new battery icon with percentage finally, which you can enable from the settings. And as you can see, sometimes the search box just disappears. It's a developer version, so it's expected. And yes, there's also new AI actions in the file manager, which lets you easily remove background from an image in one click. By the way, there's a lot of more options and features which isn't available for everyone. The features I showed you were also enabled manually, which I'll show you at the end. Starting off, first you need to enroll in the Windows Insider program. You can do that from the updates page. You can choose a release preview build to be safe. And then you will see the latest update. And if not, then make sure to check the optional update section as it will surely be there. And this way you can update without losing any data. Now if you want to update it manually, then first go to the Microsoft website and from the drop down choose Insider Preview. Now it will ask you to sign in using the same Insider account. Now scroll down and select the edition. You can choose either Release Preview or Beta for most stability. Select Language English International for India. Now click on the download button to start the process. For maximum download speed, I'll copy the download address and paste it in the XTM Download Manager. Once download is finished, we need an additional program called Rufus to create the bootable USB drive. Open the program and select your ISO file. Then insert your 8GB or above pen drive. Leave the rest settings as default. Now click on start and tick the boxes as shown. Choose your username for the local account and tick the options to skip various Microsoft setup processes and permissions. Now start the process and it will take some time so leave it aside. Now we have to power off the device then power it on and press the boot key which is escape in my case. Now select your USB drive from the list and the installation process will start. Select your language and keyboard layout. Now tick the box that says that you understand that all your files will be deleted. Then click on next. Again agree to the Microsoft terms and conditions. Now the partitions will load up and if you see your drive and it shows install then you can proceed but if it says you cannot install or you want a fresh install then press shift and F10 it will open the CMD window. Now type disk part then type list disk check and confirm your disk number then type select disk 0 in my case and type clean to completely erase it now type exit twice to close now click on the refresh icon and you will see the drive which will say unallocated space so select that and then proceed to install now click on install again and the process will start and it's going to take a long time so again leave it aside after the installation is completed, your computer will restart and it will ask you to connect to the internet but you can just click on the I don't have internet to skip all the setup processes. It will still initialize for a bit and then finally boot into the home screen. And if you don't see the new start menu or other features, then we need to enable it using a tool called Vive tool. So download the tool from its official GitHub page, Intel and AMD are for the x64 systems extract it and then copy the folder to the C drive. Then in the folder click shift and right click and open the CMD window here. Then run these commands one by one to enable the new start menu and other features. I already have this enabled so it shows error. However if you see errors like command not found or recognized then first copy the folder address then search for environmental variables and open it. Click on environmental variables and under system variables double click on path. Then select new and paste the folder address. 
then ok every window and close the dialog box. Now reopen the CMD window again and try to run the commands. After it's done, restart your system to see the effects. Honestly, I don't think this update is worth going through all these efforts in its current condition and seeing how Microsoft is still holding back on so many features. But for the rest of the tech enthusiasts, it's just another side quest. So if you have any questions, let me know and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.